All right, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We're back with another haul video today. It's quite a big one. This is everything I've bought from August until December. So quite a big haul. Uh, I've been accumulating a number of items to show you guys. Some summary stuff, I guess. It's, I don't know, it's spread across the seasons. So it's just a bit of everything really, just to close out 2023. It's like December 24th, now Christmas Eve. So I probably won't be buying anything for the rest of the year. If I do, I'll show you in the next pickup video. A lot of stuff from Japan, a couple pieces from Korea, a couple just basics, nothing too crazy. Yeah, we're showing you guys what I picked up. Hopefully you enjoy. Let's get straight into it. Let's start with the bottoms. So the first piece I picked up, I picked up back in August, and this has been one of my best purchases of the year, I'd even like to say, is these Exlim, I believe, episode two trousers. You can see the nice back detailing there, multiple materials throughout. It's just a super sick, super standout trouser with sort of loose fit, I wouldn't say why, but pretty loose. You can probably tell from like the stains and the washing, just the sort of fading. I wear the fuck out of these, I wear them all the time. Uh, it's one of those purchases I've made that I don't know what I did before I had these because they just become such a staple in my wardrobe, everyday trouser. Some great like deep pockets, a nice sort of side one here. I tend to fit like my AirPods like keys or something in there. Great hardware as to be expected from Exlim. Uh, if you know about Exlim, it's a Korean, Korean menswear, but recently he's been teasing some women's wear. So a brand based out of Seoul, Korea. Started by uh, this guy called Dohi, I forget his last name, but he's on Instagram's All Boy. Uh, he was a stylist in Korea. He worked with, if you know Dean, shout out Dean, we're still waiting on the album. We ain't forgot. She branched out and made Exlim, launched it in 2021. Since then, it's blown up worldwide, especially in like the sort of warp core technical circles. And yeah, just they're constantly producing these standout, great quality pieces. It's not always just all black, which you would sort of come to expect from maybe a technical and like, I guess functionality focused brand. Yeah, you see offer stuff in like pink, yellow, just loads of wild colors. Especially I opted for black, picked this up from Grail for a steal. I think around like 250 pounds. I can't remember the exact price, but yeah, been wearing these every day, pretty much. Favorite trousers in my collection. The second and final pair of bottoms I got, these are the wrong ones, fuck. <laughs> Try that again. So these are the pair I got. Just these pair of basic cargoes from Amazon. Literally, I think, I don't know what brand they are, I'll be sort of real. Like, I've got no idea, guys. But yeah, just this basic ass pair of cargoes that I got from Amazon. I wanted a pair of cargoes. I've actually never owned a pair of cargo pants. And I just really wanted to explore that silhouette, explore that type of trouser a bit. So yeah, I just picked up these cheap ones on Amazon and I really do like them. Um, the quality is like pretty good. They're pretty thin, lightweight, just cargoes. I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure everyone watching this probably knows more about cargoes than me. I don't know nothing about them. Got them in a bit of a bigger size. So I wanted something more baggy. The only critique I'd say is the pockets don't have too much of a shape to them. They're, unless you put something in there, very just like flat. It's all right, but I would prefer something more of a permanent shape to it. But you know, you get pair of cargoes on Amazon, you're just getting a sort of functional, I guess like dead stock, like military piece. You're not going to be getting that sort of fashion forward design and that kind of purchase but yeah no complaints great piece i think like 25 quid can't really go wrong with these yeah we're gonna jump into the outerwear now just kicking it off my favorite brand shirma so shirma one of my favorite brands based out of tokyo japan started by shohei hibata lovely guy met him on the trip it's all in the tokyo vlog and uh, with this collection he recently rebranded redesigned the whole label it's more like military, military, minimalist, utilitarian sort of type of vibe that's going on. And this is the officer jacket from this first collection. It's just a simple, I believe it's just cotton jacket, quite thin, but very versatile with a, I believe, cow's, cow's leather collar, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, just really nice, versatile jacket. Super nice, shiny Riri zippers. That just, they're actually just so fun to play with. They just zip up so smooth yeah just like i said really nice sort of minimal work jacket it's sleek it's simple you can dress it up you can dress it down i tend to either start with the cargoes i showed previously if want more of a relaxed look or you just wear a pair of jeans a pair of straight fit trousers go for a more like classier uh cleaner look super versatile probably my favorite jacket in my collection right now unfortunately it's a bit cold out as i've mentioned in london so i haven't got to wear it too much but Come to the uh, spring season, I'm gonna be wearing the hell out of this. The next piece of outerwear is my most recent pickup actually, is another piece from Sherma, same collection. And this is the wool midnight coat in a size two. 
I grabbed this because I don't actually have a sort of winter heavyweight overcoat in my wardrobe and it is a style and piece I've been meaning to experiment with and play with. You know, it's a classic menswear piece, super versatile, fits into so many styles. And yeah, it's something I really want to explore. Uh, this specific coat, it features a nice, I think this is, is it suede? Yes, yeah, suede uh, collar strap. Also this collar is quite stiff, so if you want to style it standing up, it'll stay up. Bring the strap around, you can go for that look as well. I tend to leave it down, wear it with a hoodie or just a tee. Um, but yeah, it's got a nice sort of heat. I believe it's like heat retaining, water resistant. Yeah, so like I was saying, I wanted something like this in my collection and so far I've been wearing it quite a bit. Now it's getting a lot colder here in the UK. I've had a chance to wear it out, have, have a hand at styling it. Uh, great piece, not too heavy. Really happy to have in my collection. And I'm looking forward to what Sherma releases next in their spring summer collection for the upcoming year. Staying on the theme of Sherma, another piece I picked up from them uh, late summer is the 101 uh, waffle knit tee. This is just a simple black tee in this waffle knit material. It comes in a sort of a slightly boxy, kind of like crop silhouette, nice length on the arms. It's got these back sort of stitching details on the shoulders that makes your back look nice. It's a basic tee. I've never had a waffle knit tee piece or anything before, and I was really interested in grabbing it. It's definitely a nicer cut than these family mark tees I wear all the time that I'm wearing right now. And I would like to get more, but you know, it was like 80 pounds, so I can't really afford to be buying loads of these. I like to wear this when I just want to switch it up a bit, add a bit more texture to my outfits. And I really would like to get one of the cotton versions of these, just in a normal cotton cut as well, because it's just a really nicely cut t-shirt. Uh, so maybe I'll pick up some of them in the future. But for now, yeah, we've just got the waffle knit one to wear. So staying on theme of picking up from my favorite brands, we've got another piece from Sherma here. This is the sports hoodie in black size two. This is a slightly sort of oversized boxy cut silhouette hoodie, 16 ounce, I believe, with a nice kangaroo pocket. Again, this is nothing crazy, just a nice basic hoodie to add to the wardrobe. I actually didn't have a plain black pullover hoodie in the collection. So when I saw they released this, it was sort of no brainer to pick it up. And yeah, it's definitely like one of my favorite hoodies. I wear, the, I wear the fuck out of it, I wear it all the time. Super easy, super simple to style. It's got a nice contrast stitching on the logo here. Not too much to see on this one. It's getting a lot of wear out of this hoodie. Keep me warm in these colder seasons here in the UK. I, the only critique I'd have is of myself. I should have got a size three because it's a little small on me. But it's okay, we managed to make it work. But yeah, going forward, if they release any more hoodies, I will be picking up in a size three rather than two. But aside from that, great staple piece to add to my wardrobe. I've got no complaints. Second and final hoodie I picked up is this gray zip hoodie. Gray sort of gray wash black zip hoodie from John Williams. I think John Williams is one of these like sort of luxury blank brands based in the UK. I just found them on Instagram a couple months ago when I wanted to get a hoodie for my flight to Tokyo. I actually didn't have anything cozy to wear on the flight. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to grab what I wanted in time but uh, I've kept an eye on them because their pieces look quite promising. And for their Black Friday sale, this was up for grabs. This is a really nice sort of heavyweight, uh, I've got no idea what the GSM or weight is, but don't ask me. Riri zipper, uh, this zipper's great. I love these Riri zippers, they're so shiny. They really match with sort of my silver jewelry I like to wear. And this one is in fact a two-way zipper, which I don't see the point of, I'll be so rough, I think it looks so corny if you zip it up here or something. So we're not touching that when it's zipped up. But um, yeah, nice big hood, great color. Add some sort of, I guess you could say color to my wardrobe, it's still gray, it's still monochrome, but whatever. Yeah, when I wanna switch it up a bit, wear some gray. Uh, yeah, I'll be wearing the hell out of this. It's probably like one of one of the best photos I've made as well. I mean, everything I'm pretty happy with, but yeah, this one I've been wearing so, so much. I'm gonna get some blank hoodies. They offer these in like pullover as well. They've got like uh, a couple different colors, all kind of like washed. Got like vintage wash vibe. Uh, yeah, check out John Williams. Random purchase I made and I really, really like the quality. It's not a hoodie, but another piece of sort of like a sweaters, hoodies in that category is this half zip sweater. Yeah, sweater from um, just Colorful Standard. I don't know much about the brand. You can just grab it on the high street, Colorful Standard. Quality is pretty good, warm, nice half zip. Uh, I grabbed this for like 80 quid on sale or something. And I grabbed it because I wanted to try adding in this half zip style into my wardrobe. 
Dreads a thin line between looking like a finance bro and then looking like sort of mad military. I was more leaning towards a military utilitarian kind of look to it because I was inspired by the one Shoma release. Got a cheaper version, got some just this from Colorful Standard. Glad I did because it's a, I don't wear it too much. I like it a lot. It's a cool piece to have on a Twitch option just to pull over or um, the hoodies that I normally wear. I tend to wear the cargos, the boots, if I want to just want to go like full military, really delve into that style. Just a real basic piece that I want to experiment with. Next piece I want to talk about is the only pair of footwear I grabbed in the last couple months. It is these pair of Rick Owens Ramones in leather. I think there's a main like I don't I don't know nothing about Rick. I'll be so real, but I've wanted these for years. I know they're just a leather, like glorified converse, but I've wanted them for years. They finally came up on Depop of all places. I got it for like 350. I've been wearing the hell out of them. You've probably seen all the styling clips I've been throwing up super versatile piece i mean they're basically a converse like they go with everything 40 43 and i'm a 42 42 and a half so yeah they are a little too big for me but you know if i just lace them up tight then it gets the job done these i wanted for years i'm glad i finally got my hands on them it's nice to have in the collection uh, probably one of my most worn shoes as well you can probably tell with all the wear and tear i'm getting on them they do look better beat up Cohen's Ramones, leather, everyone's seen these. Not too much to talk about. On to the next piece. Before we end this off, we're going to talk about accessories real quick. Just got two things to show you guys. First is this Seiko Saab 0, 0, 3, 5, I think, 3, 5, 3, 3. Not sure which one I got. I picked this up in August, quite a couple months ago now, and I've been wearing it every single day. I got it because, I mean, it looks like a rolly, and it was like, what? Like 450, 350, automatic, black dial, which I like. Open back as well, so you can see all the intricate workings of the watch. Threw on a Jubilee bracelet because, again, it looks like a rolly. for like a fraction of the price. Just makes it look a lot nicer. I think the Jubilee like really adds to it. Let me wear this in a couple of vlogs in all my videos. Wear it every day. I've been a little late to tell you guys about it. Plus per wear, one of the best purchases I've made this year. I really love it. All right, so final piece I picked up is this two-way tote bag, again, from Sharma. Favorite brand to close out the haul. Just nice sort of oversized tote bag. It comes with this strap. And also, also comes with these handles. You can carry it like a normal bag. I've took them off. I always just wear it across me. I'm not really holding it. I don't really have a everyday bag. I do, it's tiny. I need one that can fit my laptop. So I saw a show them they dropped this one a couple months ago. I've had my eyes on it for a while. I wasn't too sure if I wanted to pull the trigger. And then they put on a story a couple weeks ago, like there's one left. Yeah, it's got these nice little silver grommet details, which I quite like, makes it stand out a bit. Adjustable strap comes with one of those like strap cover things as well. Make it comfy in your shoulder. But yeah, I took that off. I think it looks great. Really suits my style. And uh, yeah, fits my laptop. Fits a lot of stuff. I use it for groceries quite a lot. This nice war repellent fabric. It's a nice everyday bag that I've already been getting quite a lot of wear out the past like week and a half. I've had it. Final purchase to close out the year. So that closes out the pickups for 2023. It's everything I've bought in the last couple of months since coming back from Japan. I like to think I've made some great purchases here, stuff that fits into my wardrobe very well, and stuff to experiment with as well. Some silhouettes and cuts I haven't really played with yet. I still play it quite safe with how I dress. It's really nothing to stand out, but I still am very much into the whole uniform, just throw this black tee on every day. From whatever outwear I want, whatever pants I want, it all just works cohesively together. From my wardrobe, I don't have to think too much. Not trying to stand out too much just trying to be stylish comfy yeah so play it safe but i like the purchases i've made hope you guys enjoyed watching thank you so much for all the support i'll see you in the next video